Okay, now we're going to develop the passing a little further, the, the bumping, but with a partner. So one partner is going to feed the ball, lob it to the other partner, and the other partner is going to have their knees bent in a good squared stance, and then just lob it straight to them to begin, and you're just going to bump it straight back to your partner. Very good, and continue that for a few minutes. At this point, as we move along, as they master the basic bump that goes forward and it's lopped right to them, what you're going to do is teach them how to angle the platform of bumping. So the person lobbing is going to purposely lob it about an arm's length either to the left or to the right and the person bumping is going to adjust by dipping the shoulder and bumping it straight back. So let's take a look. They're going to step. There you go. They're going to pop it back up right back to the person who lobbed it to them just like that. They're going to work on the angle of deflection. Very good. Okay, now we're going to work a little bit on the setting. Again, you have a feeder, person lobbing the ball, who's going to lob it really high, but the ball is going to drop right on the other person's head. They're going to have their hands up early, and then they're going to set the ball straight back. Go ahead, demo. Get the hands up early, have it waiting for the ball to come down, move your feet, get under the ball, set the ball straight back to the person who's lobbing. That's it. And now we're going to work on our basic underhand serve. And the simplest way to have the kids practice and develop how to do this is to start at a distance that they are almost assured to have success. So approximately 10 to 15 feet is where you want to go. This is the underhand serve. So what you're going to do is give the two kids the ball. They're going to put it on the palm of their hand. The key thing is to keep your eye on the ball as you serve. Make a fist. Notice their feet are apart. One is in front, one is behind. They're going to swing and pop the ball straight to the other person. Go ahead. Very good. They catch it. They're going to serve it right back and just have them practice that for a few minutes. And as they have success doing that, because they're able to serve it with control and accuracy right to their partner, have them step back further. Gradually increase the distance. And now what you're going to do when you tell your students or your athletes is simply swing faster, step forward faster. Don't change anything with the mechanics of how you hit the ball. The only thing you do is do it faster. Swing your arm faster. Keep your eye on the ball as you hit. And that will add power to the serve. Okay, one of the most common mistakes young players make when they underhand serve is that they stand right up to the service line. Well, by rule, if they step on the line prior to serving the ball, that alone is a footfall and usually it's a call it's a violation in most leagues for the for the young kids even now let's have Steve demonstrate how he's gonna serve when he's right up at the line okay he is able to muscle most of it but he's got no forward momentum no legs helping him push off but this time look how do you improve the distance and power to that same serve he's actually moving backwards. Increasing the distance to hitting the, over the net actually is what he's going to do to add more power because this now creates space that allows him to step forward and then add momentum to his serve. So he'll demonstrate that. Very good. So the key when you serve for little kids if they're having trouble getting the ball over the net is number one just move them back. It seems counterproductive but by moving them back notice how he steps forward and that adds so much more power to his serve. All right, now we're going to be practicing how to time our overhand hits. So you have one partner kneeling while the other partner is going to lob the ball nice and high over the right shoulder or left shoulder and have them practice just hitting the ball right back, overhand swing. And you're trying to look to see if they're making good solid contact when they hit the ball, are they directing it where they want it to go? And then now and then, 
you can also try the other arm. And uh, you might say, well, gee, I, why would I ever have my athlete swing with their non-dominant hand? Well, you know what? You never know. The sets sometimes are not perfect. And if so, they still have to save the ball. Okay, now and then also, the athlete may have to tomahawk it. And this is when, if the ball is coming right at their face and they have no other choice but to protect themselves. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna just tomahawk it with the heels of their wrists. The ball's coming right at their face. If they practice it, this actually could be an effective way to return the ball and place it right at an area of the court where the other side is not able to retrieve it. All right, and now we're gonna have a drill where, again, you have a partner. One is gonna be kneeling and they're gonna simply get a ball lobbed to them and they're gonna bump it back to their partner, okay? This is a good progression, overall progression. I'm gonna show you how it all works. The other partner is simply lobbing the ball and now they're gonna lob it either to the left or to the right and have the person on their knees angle the platform or deflection, bumping it straight back to the partner. And now you're gonna lob it up high so it falls right on top of their head and they have to practice setting the ball, full extension with the arms, back to their partner. Very good, and now you're gonna lob it high and your person on the knees is gonna spike the ball. Now they're gonna hit the ball upwards, not down, because young children are not able to jump high enough to spike the ball downwards so but they can still spike the ball but they have to hit up to get the ball over the net very good and now this time what we're going to do is the person lobbing is going to be surprisingly you're going to surprise your partner you're not going to lob it uh, so that they know it's going to be a bump or set you're going to just lob it towards them and they have to react appropriately and get the ball back to your, uh, the other person with either a bump set or even a spike. Go ahead. So based on what they see, how the ball is coming, they have to adjust, be ready for anything. If it's a good lob, they want to set it. If it's a short lob, they want to bump it. If it's a lob they can spike, obviously they want to look to spike it. So now the person on the knees is training to judge the ball as it comes and make the appropriate reaction to it.